When it comes to climate change, it's a matter of degree. I mean that literally, never let them see you sweat. Each time the planet heats even half a degree, we feel it. You may not realize it, but if you've gone scuba diving, which I don't like, or visited California lately, which is perfectly nice, you've probably seen the effects. Extreme weather, acidifying oceans, species extinction, food shortages, and don't forget human health. Poor air quality is linked to millions of premature deaths each year. And did I say species extinction? Droughts also exacerbate international conflicts. We've seen that in places like Sudan, Syria, and Yemen, all towards the end of the alphabet, but eventually that will expand. At its core, this is a problem of economics. <sighs> Climate solutions call for big, upfront investments with no guarantees and require us to reconsider how we fuel our global economy. See what I did there? Fuel the global economy. Since 1965, no one has pumped out, did it again, more carbon dioxide than the United States. But that changed in 2005 with China when they became the world's largest emitter. Now more than two times the carbon in the atmosphere of the United States. India's quickly catching up, gonna pass us by real fast too. Much of all that comes from heavy industry. Here in the United States, industry accounts for a quarter of total emissions. Jobs are tied to those industries. Powerful interest groups are tied to those industries too. Yes, the public is more climate conscious these days, but what actually comes of it? Is there the political will to keep global temperatures from rising more than two degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels? <laughs> no. That kind of an uptick, by the way, apparently leads to the kind of planetary damage the UN describes as severe, pervasive, and irreversible. So this is our moment. And it's not looking great. The years between 1983 and 2012 were likely the Northern Hemisphere's hottest. And the reality is it's quite possible our planet's temperature will rise a lot more than two degrees. Most scientists say that two degrees is an unreachable best case scenario. Their real base case is more like three or 3.5.